Hi, I'm Andrea and this is AV for All. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a springtime gnome. I'm using the three primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue, and then black and white. And I'm going to be starting off with a wide brush and we're going to be scooping up blue. Now I'm using a wooden canvas, but you can use anything you want. You can use a regular canvas, a piece of plywood, your neighbor's shoe, whatever you want to use to paint this gnome onto, okay? And I'm just using regular acrylic paint. So we're going to take the wide brush and I'm just going to scoop up a bunch of blue. And we're gonna start out at the very, very top with this blue. Once the blue is on there, I'm not gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna pick up some black. And with this black, you're going to just go around the very corners on the side here and around here. And you're gonna work that into that blue paint a little bit. darken around the edge of that. Now I'm going to pick up more blue so I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I'm gonna rinse that black Then I'm scooping up more blue and I'm kind of pulling that blue up into the black so it fades down into the blue nice. up some more blue Now I'm not going to rinse my brush, I'm going to scoop up white. And I'm depositing the white so that it mixes in with the blue. So I'm going up into the blue and I'm pulling that back down into where I deposited the white. Don't worry about the center section much because that's all going to be covered by the gnome. So we're bringing the color down the sides and I need to pick up more blue. So we're bringing this color down the sides because this whole center section is going to be filled in with that gnome.
Now we're going to rinse our brush off. And we're going to put some rolling mountains in the distance. So we want to pick up yellow and you're gonna place that over on your plate here. And then we're going to pick up some black. So a little bit of black on the corner of your brush. You're gonna mix it with the yellow, but not fully. See how it's kind of marbleized on my brush? So you have some black, you have some yellow. We're gonna take this and we're gonna create some hills in the background. And mine is dripping, it's okay. make those rolling hills and then just deposit that color back and forth. I'm gonna get some more, more yellow. So I'm just picking up yellow now. I'm not picking up any new black. With this yellow, same thing as we did up here with the dark blue and we got lighter and lighter, pick up just yellow, blend it in so that it gets brighter and brighter as it comes down. And we can go back in and highlight those mountains in the background. <clears throat> now I'm not going to rinse my brush off. I'm just going to pick up some more blue. And with the blue, I'm going to come down around these corners here and deposit some of that blue into the yellow, but I'm just framing the corners out with like a rounded motion. So I have the blue that I'm mixing in here and here. And then I'm just going to turn my brush sideways and pull some of that blue. So as I pull in closer, I'm pulling away from the canvas. So that way it kind of just tapers off as I'm pulling in and creating a nice shadow around the edge. So this side, just kind of come in, taper off. And then a little bit of that blue right in the center for the shadow underneath our gnome. And now we're going to do the outline of the body and the arms of our gnome. So I'm using a tapered brush. It's just a round brush that tapers narrow at the top. And I'm going to load it with black. So we want to start around halfway up the canvas for the body. And it takes up quite a bit of space. So I'm going to about halfway up for the body to start. And this just comes down in almost like a bell shape. And then this side. And then at the bottom, we're going to round it. So it's going to come down and then back up to meet the side. Now, our little arms on the side. You're gonna start out at the top. And the end of it kind of slants down a little bit. And this side. Right, there 
there's the arms. Now you're gonna make a circle for where the nose is going to be. So once you get your arms here, there, this part is gonna be a little bit higher than halfway up. So this, the nose is going to be a little bit above that. And it's a pretty big nose. So we're gonna go in an oval shape. And don't worry about the shape of this too much just yet because we're gonna go over it with flesh color and peachy pinky colors. So that's where the nose is gonna be. And then above the nose, we're gonna do a little brim of the hat. And then the top of the hat. Don't worry about over in here because we're gonna have a big bushy beard that comes out over all that. So no need to worry about that just yet. So we've got this side of the hat. And then this side. And this comes over here. Now we're gonna do the shoes. So the legs are pretty far apart. The legs are probably gonna be about there and there. So we're gonna come down into the grass. And you can make the main sh part of the shoe. It's basically the wide part is right here, and then it goes straight out really long. And then do this one over here. So you have the ankle part of the boot, it comes down, comes down really long. And then, once you get that part done, this is just in black with your taper brush, you're gonna come up and circle around for the little curly feet. They don't have to be perfectly exact. <laughs> this is just a fun painting. So now we're going to fill the tunic in with the blue. So I'm using the wide brush again and I'm just scooping up a whole bunch of blue. And I'm going to start out at the bottom. I'm just going to go straight across. I'm going to bring that up and around. Kind of going over that black line that we put in there. So the black line is going to hopefully show through just for some shadowing on there. And taper off into the blue. Now remember, we don't have to fill this area in all the way because there is going to be a beard there. So just go up as far as you think you're not going to bring the beard down to. You can just fill that in. And 
And then we're gonna scoop up some more blue and we're gonna go right over those arms. Now remember you want that shadow in there still. So you're not gonna go over that black, the darker shadow area too much. You don't wanna blend it in too much. Now I'm gonna rinse my wide brush and then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna pick up some more blue and I'm just going to go on to the brim of the hat with it and then I'm going up into the rest of the hat with that dark blue. You don't want to lose your shadow of the brim, so remember to keep that there. But I'm just blending the black in to that blue color. Now we're going to go in with a smaller taper brush because we're going to put striped socks on them. So we're going to load our brush with blue and then we're going to do a little, it's going to be a stripe, but because the leg is round, it's going to be a little rounded, like a bunch of little mini smiles almost. So I'm going to come around here, just keep a smile up. And then on this side, then I'm going to rinse my brush off, then I'm going to load white onto it. And we're just going in between where we just put the blue. And there's his cute little sock legs. Now we're going to do his beard and that is gray. So I'm going to use the taper brush and I'm going to pick up some black and I'm going to mix white in with it. And this is going to give me a gray color. So with this gray color, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go right down the center, and it's going to kind of have a flowing, wavy style to it. So I'm just putting in some wave lines. I'm going to load my brush back up with the gray. So we're bringing this beard right up to where the brim is. And these little whiskers are coming right up, right off of the nose at the top. So this comes out right over where your hat and your shoulders meet. Now I'm picking up just white on the same brush, I didn't rinse it, and I'm doing kind of a back and forth with my brush as I pull it out, so it kind of waves when I pull it, and it goes back and forth like a curly Q beard. back and forth like that and it gives me a nice wave. Just 
little short ones right there at the very top. Now I'm gonna go in and grab black, <clears throat> and I didn't rinse my brush off, I still have that white on there. But the black, we're gonna come out from that black shadow of the nose to pull that dark right out into the beard. So we're going in between those white ones we just drew. Or painted, rather. Same thing, I'm going in and pulling and kind of twisting the brush back and forth a little bit. Just back and forth, kind of. This is a great way to get branches, too. Rinse my brush off. Then I'm going to go back in. I have white on the, my taper brush. And we're going to create a highlight right here by taking a bunch of white and just kind of depositing across here with the white. And it is going to mix in with your black, and that's all right. You just want highlight showing right in there like a brightness to the center there just right in this section here and then another section at the bottom So you're skipping a spot and you're letting this be in the center, but then you're coming across, you're, you're starting down at the bottom with some more white. Now we're gonna rinse our brush and then we're going to mix up a peachy color for the nose. <clears throat> so, I rinsed my tapered brush off. I'm gonna pick up yellow, place it over on your plate, just a, a little bit of red in with your yellow, and then white. And this is actually, hmm, maybe a little more white. There we go. So we're gonna fill in inside where the black is. We're not gonna go over the black, we're gonna go inside. Filling that in with that light peachy color. <clears throat> then you're going to go back in, grab a little bit more red, mix it in with that peach color. And then you're going to take that color and bring that around the bottom of his nose. That gives it a nice little shadow on the bottom of the nose. And you're going to pick up white.
Now we're going to put some flowers here and there on them. So once again, we're using our taper brush and I'm going to mix up some yellow with a little bit of red. This is going to give me an orangish color and I'm going to use the shape of this tapered brush to pull and create the petals of the flower. So we're going to start here. And then I'm going to have them holding one. Once you have the petals in, then you want to take just black and go into the center, just swirl it around to create the center of that flower. Now I'm going to go in and put a couple small little white ones. So I'm switching to a smaller brush and it's going to be the same thing. So I'm going to pick up a white and I'm going to use the brush to create the little petals on the flower. behind him. Put any kind of spring colors in here that you want. It doesn't have to be these, these colors. I'm going to grab bright yellow to put in the centers of those flowers. Now I'm going to mix up a really light blue just to put some highlights on them. So I have my round taper brush and I mixed up white and blue together for a nice light blue color. And with this, I am just going to highlight his arm and this arm. I'm going to highlight the brim. I'm just 
dabbing this little orange color here and there to add interest. Put a couple other flowers in there. And in this hand, I'm gonna have them holding some stems that come down. So we're gonna do, we're gonna use black on our small brush. And they're gonna kinda come out and down. And then I'm going to take a, the larger taper brush and load it with yellow. into an orange one. And then I'm going to pick up black with the brush. my brush off and I'm going to mix blue and yellow together and that's going to give a really vibrant green color so with that I'm going to put a couple little leaves on the stems with a little green and I'm just dabbing my brush like I did for the petals of the flowers some leaves over in that hand. Now, around the base of the tunic, I am going to put some flowers down there. So I'm using my really small detail brush and I'm putting white on it. And it's basically the same flower that we've been doing. So I'm gonna start in the middle. And an easy way to do this is make an X and then go across it. And then when we put the center in, it makes it look like a flower. So I'm gonna do an X and another X. These don't have to be perfect. You'll drive yourself crazy trying to get them all perfect, so. Just make it look 
looks somewhat like a flower. Now rinse the brush and we go back in with bright yellow into the centers of them. And then we're going to mix up an orange, the orange color, so that's yellow and red. And with this color we're going to go right in between these with a dot. And I'm just going to put tiny little flowers at the very tips of his shoes. I think we could use a yellow flower in here too. under his feet for shadowing. And that's it. All right, and there is springtime gnome. I hope that you enjoyed this class. And if you did, hit the like button and leave a comment or subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.